Hey guys, what's up? James or Wizite here and welcome back to another Destiny video. The Queen's Guard has just arrived back in the tower in Destiny. Petrovenge has brought with her some new bounties and some new Queen's items. I'm not gonna lie, when I heard the Queen's Guard had returned, I thought it was gonna be the same as last time that the Queen's Guard came to Destiny but apparently not. However, I have been putting this video off to see if there were any weapons available from the Queen's Guard event that I could include in this video. And it seems that no one has gotten any weapons, though someone has tweeted me saying that they have their first passage coin. I don't know where they obtained it. It could have been from the Crucible or from one of these bounties. Also, you can get a pretty rare item from completing these bounties that I'll talk about a little later on. So unlike the first time the Queen's event was active in Destiny, you simply played through some of the storyline completing tasks and bounties at the same time. This time you actually have enemies to eliminate, you have to hunt them down and you have to kill them. So I'm going to run through which targets and then I'm going to make a video on each of the targets locations. So make sure to check back today or tomorrow for those videos. Now just a heads up, once you do defeat a target, look in that area for a chest with a green beam of light coming from it. Because you have a chance to get this rare item I've already mentioned, but I'll be dealing with that in just a moment. Also remember to leave a comment and let me know what you think about the Queen's Guard event. So the first target is Drevis the Wolf Baroness and by the looks of the icon on the bounty this enemy looks to be a captain and Drevis is located on earth at the Forgotten Shore. Next we have Kalkik 12 which by the looks from the icon Kalkix is a servitor and is located on earth at the Skywatch. Then by the looks of it, we have a wanted dreg called Pixis, the Disvowed, and he is located in the Citadel on Venus. And lastly, for now, we have Beltric, the Veiled, who is located in the Ember Caves on Venus. Then we have two more bounties, but at the moment, they are blacked out. And the first one says available on day five. Now this wanted character looks to be another captain by the name Savix, Queenbreaker, who is located in the Anchor of Light on the moon. Then on day 6 we have the wanted figure Weeksis the Meek who is near the Archer's Lion on the moon. So these are the targets. Now before you hunt them down you're probably asking how you find them. Well you head to a certain area in Destiny. Simply look around until these targets either spawn or drop in from public events. So what I'm going to do is upload a video showing you guys the location of each of these locations to help you guys complete them. But let's talk about that rare item. It's called Treasure Key and it reads, Used to access the Queen's Crystal Barrows beneath the Prison of Elders. So this sounds like a very important item and I wouldn't discard it guys. 100% keep this. We're not sure what the Crystal Barrows are. This sounds like a very secretive area. Maybe you can access this area once you have either proved yourself to the Queen by showing her loyalty and trust by completing either the storyline, the Prison of Elders or another task. So to get this key, what you need to do is once you have killed each target, search the area for a chest with a green beam of light coming out of it and open it. If you're lucky enough, you could get a treasure key which you can use to get to the Queen's Crystal Barrows. But that's it for this video guys, I hope you have enjoyed it. Leave me a comment and let me know what you think about all this new and exciting stuff in Destiny at the moment. I've been James Wizite, thank you all for watching and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.